Hey, Mikey here for rating songs on the Beach Boys albums. For this episode, I'm rating the songs on the Surfer Girl album. Again, my approach to rating these songs is mostly from the songwriter's point of view, emphasizing songs written or co-written by members of the Beach Boys, with production and performance following, respectively, in importance. With the realization that their audience was quite young. I automatically rate the Beach Boys originals ahead of all their covers. Hmm, one cover on this album. Huh. The Surfer Girl album, like the first two albums by the Beach Boys, has some instrumentals. Some people think of these as filler because they were really buying the Beach Boys for their vocals. But these instrumentals are well produced and I say there isn't a bad cut on this album. If you still have the mindset and maturity of a teenager. <laughs> but I flatter myself. The album is a step forward for the Beach Boys production wise and they really have defined their soon to be legendary vocal sound. Also, the album has four big hits which is hard to imagine on one album. Most groups were happy to have one hit, much less four, off their third album in one year. <laughs> Incredible. We'll start with Boogie Woody as the only non-Beach Boys original on this album. It's Boogie Woogie Piano playing from Company BB Indeed and Brian commands from piano and organ. And what a left hand workout. <laughs> Sounds like Denny on drums, but it's okay, it just speeds up a little. Overall, it's a simple but effective cut. Now we'll start with the Beach Boys originals and Rockin' Surfer. It's a little repetitious and perhaps less interesting than Boogie Woody, but it's fun to hear Carl playing a solo, and the organ melody is catchy. I've said it before, but it's pretty tight for some guys barely into their 20s with some teenagers. Up next, South Bay Surfer, which may not be the greatest song in the world, but it's fun and it sounds like teenagers having fun. Isn't that what it's all about? It's clever to use Stephen Foster's melody, but I'd rather they have made their own. It was easy for Brian to make melody, and Foster's melodies just don't work for surfing songs. The lyrics only tell a simple story, but still some creative stuff. The songs on this album are really hard to rank from here because there are so many great songs that you just have to find things to pick on on some of the non-single or album cuts. I went with Car Club because I know they'll never be able to collect some twos. If you have one of these cars, who has money? But they do have the roughest initiation they can find, so at least you get rid of all the wimps. Talk about guys in the 60s being guys. Then it's Surfer's Rule. Well, if it's written on the walls of the school, then everyone knows it. All the songs on Surfer Girl make an impression, but this one warns you first about this genuine fact. <laughs> but then, why do they warn the Four Seasons? Those guys wouldn't even get a bid to our car club much less our surfers club. <laughs> you better believe it. Hawaii takes the next slot only because of the hopelessness of any of us listeners to actually be able to go to Hawaii. Don't remind me of the place, but it's a heck of a catchy song and it gets nothing but raves from me. I guess I'd have to put your summer dreams next. What a nice song, and it's well written. What young couple doesn't want to be at the beach falling in love? It seems like a dream we should all have. Then we drag out Little Deuce Coop, 
We hear it so much we forget how great a song it is. You know every inch of this car by the time you get pushed out of shape. I can feel the gear shifter when I hit fourth. <laughs> kind of like my summer job driving a VW Bug. <laughs> I'd rate this song higher, but in my heart, I'm a Pontiac guy. What kind of guy are you? Now we're up to the surfer moon. Later on in life, we learn to blame it on the boogie. But we surfers know where love comes from. Sometimes I wonder if it, I just like the pizzicato violins on this song, but then there's the line, brings us waves each day. And the waves are for our surfer girl. I hope our girls never mind us calling them our surfer girl everywhere we go. Just like me, I know your surfer girl still leaves your heart undone. Second to the top is Catch a Wave, but it still gets you to the top of the world. With this song's opening line, it's over. You can think of any reason to go surfing all you want, but you want to be on top of the world, and all it takes is a wave. This song is chock full of great lines, but I won't dissect them with fork and spoon. I just like the fact that they'll all hit the road and be surfing soon. For the number one, In My Room. What a song, especially if you're an introvert like me and have a couple of older brothers. Barricading the door to my room was an extreme tactical advantage. But seriously, can't we all relate to this song? You can be anywhere in the world in your room. I guess you can even be in Hawaii or shifting gears in a GTO. Ah. Thanks for listening. Next up, the Little Deuce Coop album. Please hit like and subscribe. See you next time.